the idea of living outside or apart from the system is what terrifies this mind. This current mind state is not being allowed to move with nature, with consciousness, with life. Because of the association and the attachments to the past. We are forcing our children to do the same things, our grandchildren to do the same things, to follow that what has always been, but in truth it's not always been. Did the Ten Commandments exist before? In the fourth century, there are recited ideas that have managed to get human beings through a certain stage. We live in rules and regulations that have been adopted and inherited many centuries ago, but not from the beginning. So somewhere along the line from the beginning to many centuries ago, they have changed. But we're not willing to change. Or we're not willing to go with the change. Our mind is so fixated on same, 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 same. same. I am a person. I was told I'm a person. What I have to do now is once I can walk and I'm able to adopt the speaking mechanism to understand the language and everything I am, I have to go and to the nursery school, to the school, to the college, to the university, to meet someone, to get married. to get a job, to have children, to provide, and provide, and provide, and provide. Until I am old and frail and dependent on some sort of care home, then I have to uh, give up and die. And that's just been always the same since the beginning. But it's not the journey, it's the content. I have to do it in a particular time, in a particular place, at a particular employment, with a particular person, with a particular idea, a particular method, a particular practice. And I have to not change through this experience. Therefore, my creative side that what we have as a race what this mind has done has developed an intelligence a creativity that is second to none yet we stifle our own creativity to try and replicate reiterate do what we think think what we're supposed to do what are we supposed to do in this situation think right Okay, if I can't find a way, I have to ask someone who can recite and project and replicate that, what we are supposed to do in this situation. However, I feel like dancing. But I cannot do that. And that's another idea. We can dance whenever we want to dance. You can dance in the lecture hall. There's no rules and regulations to say you can't dance in the lecture hall. This is quietly. You react to life. The wind doesn't say, I have to stop blowing right now because that tree over there looks vulnerable. It, it blows the tree down. The roots of the tree exist, it grows again. Damn wind. We're stifled by this conditioned, systematic, I, I am this person, 
I am this name. I live in this house. I own a, a car. I own, I have so many CVs, but this is the story. I am living in this job now, and I am hoping to provide and provide and provide and not have any more fun because apparently they never had fun since the beginning. No one has ever had fun, so why the hell should I have fun? There's no conspiracy behind it. There's no people organizing this system. We are educating our mind. Our mind is educating in itself to remain stagnant because we know deep down in our inner core, and if you have had this enlightened experience that there is only permanence, there is only stability, there is only oneness, wholeness. So in reality, we are trying to discover the true the true one that is beyond this moving, changing, century moving human race state. So we are confused into this spirituality, this religion, this inner being, this inner consciousness is trying to wake us up. It's trying to wake us up and we are trying to go to sleep. No, I have to go to sleep. I have to go back into the, into the queue. I have to go back into the, the production line. Yeah? So the human side is fighting against its own inner purity, its own inner genuine loving conscious self. And that's a conflict. There's no conflict between human beings, there's only conflict between you and mind. Your spiritual higher self and your lower self, whatever you want to call it. The past and the future. But no one, no one, not many, are living in the present moment. Because when you live in the present moment, you'll see the idea is a, an, an imagined thought. You'll see that the system, an imagined thought. There is only nature. There is only life flowing on its own. You can be part of that flowing life, or you can be that broken down, um, systematic, ideological, conceptual, entrepreneur trying to dig yourself a hole for your for your coffin that's the greatest job isn't it that no one even digs their own hole every every one of us is dependent on someone else doing the job for us because we think that's the only way we have to we have we think we cannot grow our own food. We think we're not allowed to walk in the farmer's parks. We think we're not able. We think we're just so special that everyone else is going to do it for me. The system is broken because it's not operating with nature, with life, with consciousness. So remove your stale eye. See through this fake eye and reconnect, realize, with this pure eye. And a revelation, a revelation will be experienced. And it's guaranteed. At least one for one moment in your life you'll experience reality. It may also disappear with the system. But you've touched God and God has touched you.